nothing beats retaining nutrients like eating fruits and vegetables in their natural form. However, if you do prefer juicing to get your daily dose of fruits and vegetables, a juicer might be a worthwhile investment rather than juicing it in your regular mixer, which I'm guilty of doing in the past. Let's first talk about if cold pressed juicers are worth the cost, compare it with centrifugal juicers, which are a lot cheaper. And then if you're convinced to buy a cold pressed juicer, I will highlight the best cold pressed juicers in the last section. You can jump to whichever section interests you from the description directly. Now, cold pressed juicers are expensive, but are they worth it? Let's do a rough math to understand. Cold pressed juicers are available upwards of around rupees 15,000. So assuming you make two glasses of juice every time you make it, if you're somebody who has juice every day, the per glass cost will come up to about rupees 4 per glass, not including the cost of ingredients. If you're somebody who has it two times a week only, then your per glass cost will come up to 14 rupees per glass, again not including the ingredients. I've considered 15,000 as a price point and assuming that the cold pressed juicer lasts for about five years. Now comparing this with a store bought cold pressed juice, which is upwards of 100 rupees for 200 ml, it definitely makes sense to buy a cold pressed juicer if you do prefer juices. Now that we have that out of the way, is it required to get a cold press juicer or is a cheaper centrifugal juicer sufficient? Centrifugal juicers can be a separate appliance or it can be part of your food processor. Cold press juicers are generally a separate appliance altogether. First, let's talk about which of these retains the most nutrients. Centrifugal juicers typically use a very fast speed from 10 to 25,000 RPM to cut the ingredients down and separate the juice and pulp. Now, since the, it uses speed and heat, the juice is exposed to air easily and it oxidizes as easily as well. Compared to this, a cold press juicer does not cut the ingredients. It presses and grinds the ingredients at a very low speed of 40 to 150 RPM, which helps it to retain a lot of the natural vitamins, minerals, sugar in the extracted juice. So from a nutrient point of view, a cold press juicer can retain a lot more nutrients in the juice than that comes from a centrifugal juicer. From a volume of juice point of view, both methods create a similar volume except for green leafy vegetables, in which case centrifugal juicers create very less juice. From a density and color point of view, juice from a cold pressed juicer is richer and thicker, while that from a centrifugal juicer is thinner and the juice separates if you leave it idle for some time. The shelf life of a cold pressed juice is longer as well, so up to 72 hours in the fridge. And juice from a centrifugal juicer, it needs to be consumed either immediately or within 24 hours. If you are short on time, all the time, a centrifugal juicer takes less time to make the juice, three to five minutes, based on the type and quantity of ingredients. Cold press juicers take a little bit longer, five to 10 minutes for the same type and quantity of ingredients. Cold press juicers are a lot more expensive, like you will see in the next section. Good ones are upwards of 15,000. Centrifugal juicers, like I mentioned earlier, available as separate appliance or are available as part of a food processor at 8 to 10K for a multi-purpose device. Most cold press juicers give a warranty of 10 years while centrifugal juicers give one to two years. So the life of a cold press juicer is much longer as well. So based on this comparison, since juice from a cold press juicer retains nutrients better, it produces a richer juice as well as have a longer shelf life, a cold press juicer is definitely worth it compared to a centrifugal juicer. So if you're convinced to buy one, which one should you buy? I reviewed over 18 different models to identify the best three cold press juicers for you. There are a few key things that you want have to consider. If you want to make a larger volume of juice, then you need one that has a slightly higher wattage as it will run longer. Typically, you will get about five to seven liters of juice in about 30 minutes. Amongst the ones available in India, a few models have 240 watt, everything else is lower. Second thing to consider is if you want to spend less effort in cutting the fruits and vegetables before putting it in the juicer, then you need a juicer with a wider feeding tube. Amongst the ones reviewed, 
Hestia and Hafele have the best, the others have 1 to 1.5 cm lower. But in general, it is recommended that you cut the fruits and vegetables before you load it into the juicer. Next is the rotations per minute. Most of them are in the range of 40 to 65 rpm, which is ideal for cold press juicers. It is said that lower is better, but that is not really validated. In addition, Almost all of these have a running time of 30 minutes, after which you have to give a break to the machine to avoid it from overheating. Next, let's talk about what you can make. Fruits and vegetable juices are a given, but in addition, some models can help you make nut milks, coconut milk and have additional attachments to make ice cream, smoothies and sorbets. So wherever this information is available, I've highlighted those as well. Most vendors also state that cleaning is fairly easy with the main parts being dishwasher safe as well. So based on all of these parameters, I'm giving you three recommendations at different price points. My top three recommendations are in the basic option, I recommend the Agaro Imperial Slow Juicer at about 13,000. It has a 240 watt motor, can make nut milk, smoothie, sorbet in addition to fruit and vegetable juices and has a fairly large tube. The only catch is that it offers a five years warranty compared to all of the other models which offer a 10 year warranty and has a slightly higher RP compared to the other models which could impact the juice output but not by too much. In the budget option, I recommend the Hestia Nutrimax cold press juicer at around 17,000. It has a 240 watt motor, has one of the largest feeding tube of 81 mm, it's lightweight, it has a low RPM and can make fruit and vegetable juices, nut milk, smoothies, sorbet, ice cream and so on. It also offers one of the best warranty of 10 years on the motor. In the premium option and for the brand conscious, I recommend the Hurom HAA series cold pressed slow juicer. The functionality is almost the same as the Hestia version but with slightly better materials. It does include an extra ice cream maker attachment and has the smallest form factor amongst the ones compared. Fun fact, Hurom is the brand that invented the slow juicer in 2005. I hope this was useful in helping you decide whether you do need a cold press juicer or not and if yes, which one is the best. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.